You know, I wish I had a nickel for every letter that we've received from you viewers wanting to go out with a celebrity. It's a lot of fun. So we're going to do it the best way we can. We're going to take you on a date with Nancy Sinatra. When she was a little girl, they wrote a song about her and her famous father sang it. Remember Nancy with a laughing face? Nancy Sinatra's a big girl now, very beautiful, and a big star on records and in motion pictures. Tonight, Hollywood Backstage and you are going to do what a lot of people would love to do. We're going on a date with her. We picked her up at her palatial home in Beverly Hills, and we go directly to the Coconut Grove for the opening night of singer Al Martino. If I don't see her each day, I miss her. Gee, what a thrill each time I kiss her. Believe me, I've got a case on Nancy with a laughing face. Dick Stabile and his orchestra play for dancing for the huge opening night crowd, which includes many celebrities who are Nancy's friends. And before going to her table, she makes the rounds of greetings. She takes the winter and makes it summer. Summer could take some lessons from her. Picture a tomboy in lace. That's Nancy with a laughing face. Nancy says hello to producer Aaron Spelling and heads for her table as the show begins. Al Martino, one of the most successful performers who doesn't resort to rock and roll, a young man with many hits, he sings now at the Grove. I love you more and more, painted, tainted rose, living a lie and Spanish eyes. Al Martino, a favorite of Hollywood's younger set like Sal Minio, who, after the show, head for the private party for Al. Our gal Nancy is, of course, popular with the fans, and she obligingly signs autographs as she makes her way to the party, which is in the Ambassador Hotel's Latrec room. Many celebrities, including British star Richard Harris, will share the after-show festivity and cordiality. David Shine, who owns the hotel, and his beautiful wife, Hilary Rombin, were invited, of course, as were Edgar Bergen and his charming Francis. They left their kids, Charlie and Mortimer, home. It's tradition at these events to serve champagne to the guests, which, in this evening of music, includes songwriter Jimmy McHugh, who likes to think young himself, acts like the other Hollywood youngsters. Richard Harris has made quite a mark in British film and is now in Hollywood to begin a series of American pictures and he's quickly become one of the town's in crowd of which Nancy with a smiling face is a charter member. Those of you who were fans of big band singers have to remember Helen O'Connell. She was Jimmy Dorsey's gal vocalist and Helen sang Amapola, Green Eyes and many other big Dorsey hits. She's still a great singer. John Erickson is another of Hollywood's popular young men making the rounds, greeting friends at this very impressive gathering. It's interesting to note that these opening nights of performers at the Coconut Grove, which is one of the most important nightclubs in the world, brings out not only the big movie stars, but other big singing stars who come to cheer the performer on and share the opening night excitement which they all go through. There's no competition among them. When the star of the evening makes his entrance, everyone offers congratulations, as does John Erickson, while the social portion of the evening continues with dancing. And you can almost be sure that one of the songs the orchestra is playing was by Jimmy McHugh, who's composed more than 50 great standard hits. And if you should see a little wooden guy around talking up a storm, he belongs to Edgar Bergen. Al Martino, a star of the evening, dances with Nancy, our girl of the evening. And she's now a star in her own right, not merely the daughter of Frank Sinatra. As a dramatic actress, she's appeared in many motion pictures, been on most major television shows, and as a singer, Nancy is one of the most important recording stars in the world. I swear to goodness, you can't resist her. Sorry for you, she has no sister. No one can ever replace Nancy the laughing face.